<clears throat> Day number 23, picnic table talk back here in the backyard underneath the big oak tree. Fans are coming in. We got a two steak steak card here for Four Star Dave. Saratoga Special early on the card. Four Star Dave as our 10th race today. Uh, four Star Dave came back a little bit smaller. My guest today, Chris Vaggio, five horses in that Four Star Dave. Um, this turf course, if you look at the Horse Racing Nation Track 10 support, playing more and more forward as we get in the summer with less and less rain. Cool down a little bit today, no rain expected. Should be a good race. Chris, looking at this race here, we're going grade one, Four Star Dave, three year olds and older going one mile in the turf course. How'd you see the race? Well, I think the five is gonna play uh top speed to ten. Across the line, I'm just gonna just gonna send. Um, the horse is looks to be in good form, third off a layoff. Um, depending on what Pratt does with the four, I don't even know if even if he wanted to, he could stay with the five. And if and if the speed holds up on this track, maybe tough to run down. You know, Regal Glory is obviously the, the class of the field. Um, but we'll see. That's what makes it work for us. So I should have congratulated you beforehand, Chris went five or six on the cat pick six carrier over yesterday and nailed the pick five alive to some hella nice prices in the last race there. So playing against a course like Regal Glory. Regal Glory, I think David Aragona was very generous with the six to five morning line. I think this horse is going to be somewhere in the three to five range. Um, playing against a horse like, horse like this, are you going to be playing against both in your horizontals and your verticals? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. So last horse to look at in this race is the number one, Casa Creed. Interesting horse here. Um, has been a sprinter, stretching out back to a mile. Uh, BC horse in the sprinting area. We'll see what's going to happen here at a mile. When you look at a horse like that cutting... Uh, uh, going back from six, now going stretching out to a mile. What are you looking at there? Uh, I look at the last couple of works. Also, this horse is coming off about a beaten break, so the horse should be fresh. Has won some good races here. Um, you know, five to two, I'm not crazy about. Five to one, I feel a little bit better. But I think, I think I'm just gonna try to build it around the five here. So there you have it, building it around the five. The speed horse playing with this track trend bias here. Speed, speed on the dirt. We'll see how it holds up at the beginning of the card to confirm the bets. Um, I will also be on the five. I, I, I've spoken to a lot of people about this horse. They did not water the turf course last night or this morning, really. A um, little bit of spritz, but nothing more than that. So it's going to be quite dry. We saw yesterday two horses improving on the front end. Um, the fractions in this race, I, I think the five is going to get out to a nice lead, break well. Javier Castellano, number one turf jockey now at Saratoga with the highest ROI of any turf jockey up here. So you get the the, the connection's going in your favor, the bias going in your favor, and you're playing against a very short three to five that's gonna have to come off the pace. Everyone, good luck with your bets today.